Uh, before we get to the champagne, I want to, I want to uh, again, address crew. Um, uh, you guys are the ones here. First to get here, last to leave. No one ever went, oh man, we can't do that. No one ever did that. No one ever did that. Not one person. Everybody went, here we go. There was this just willingness to do it. And Sean and I, from the beginning, always talked with Scott and, and, and said, front to back, we want to make a show that we can walk away from with our heads up and feel like, hey man, we did something. And we can look at it as a body of work and we uh, on our own terms. To, to the extent that it can be in this, in this wacky Hollywood community that we live in now. But I didn't realize that, you know, when I met Walton, that I was um, meeting an uncle to my children. When I'm an old man, if God willing I live that long, I will, I'll, I'll call him and, and we'll have dinner and we'll talk and I'll have that with Walt the rest of my days. And, I, and for that, I'm so grateful. This is one of the powerhouse portrayals of, uh, of, a, of a character, I think, in the history of television. Forgive me if I, you know, if I, if I slather it on. I just think that this is one of the all-time greats, Walton Goggins. say something I'm just gonna say something really quick a friend of mine sent me a quote yesterday morning and uh and it said you know something to the effect of a person should be so lucky to have experiences in his life that bring about such happiness and therefore bring about such pain when they end end up for me you have given me an opportunity to become the artist that I always felt that I, I was and um and I was, I was really a boy in a lot of ways when this show started. And, and today, seven years later, I, I feel like a man. And, and with the things that have happened in my life, I thank you for, for giving me the support and, and just letting me do my thing. And I, I, I love you all. And I really mean that. And I, I thank you. Thank you very, very much. We have, we have more to do, so and we have more to say later on. Let's so go let's go shoot some more. Out. Yeah. Choosing not to go. Um. That's called a segue um, to uh, a guy who, um, again, I feel a brotherly love to uh, the, toward, and um, I'm going to call the unsung hero of the Shield, a guy who, who has done, in my estimation, some of the best work I've ever witnessed. This is an emotional backlash to shame. The world's just screwed up today. And it took uh, a, a supreme talent like Jay Carnes to embody this guy and give him a super ego and make him uh, a stud that's hungry like the wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Carnes. I don't, I don't know what to say, <laughs> but there's something about watching all of you and all of us working together to do something. I just, I think it's amazing, the commitment and the love and the enjoyment that we all get out of this for the money. <laughs> it's extraordinary. <laughs> I feel so blessed to have been a part of it. And I thank you all, every one of you. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. I've never, I've never looked in a pair of eyes that demanded honesty more than yours. There's not a person, not a single man or woman or child that I've ever said the name CCH Pounder to that didn't light up in a smile immediately upon hearing your name. And that's the way I'll always think of you, Cece. It's just a smile and, and love. And I love you, Cece Pablo.
But I have to tell you, you have been the greatest ensemble of workers. I know he's a kingpin, but without you, he just couldn't swing. I swear to God. Yeah. You true, make true, him true. look good, you make him sound fabulous, you make him rise, and you're going to give him the greatest fall the TV's ever had. <laughs> I for sure uh, thought that this show had legs to go this far, I, you know, and I think it's ending at a great time. Sean had vision for it all. And just the writing, beyond just the acting. We happy? We happy? Yeah. All right, guys, that's a series wrap on David Reese Snell. All right. Hey! That has been an honor for me to work with all of you. Uh, to see the hard work and the artistry the diligence, uh, the way everybody here just takes it to another level, goes that extra yard. I mean, the shield, by all rights, should not have been what it became. But it did become that because of all of you. And I just want to thank you. Just humbly thank you. I appreciate it so much. I'll work you guys all day. The synchronicity is if you were going down the right path that synchronistic events start to happen, like you think of a person and the phone rings and it's them. Conversely, if you're not going down the right path, if you're making sort of karmic mistakes and just not doing things for the right reasons, those dry up. And I have to think that, that we were doing something sort of karmically correct because so many of those synchronistic things happen. I mean, if you believe in kismet or any of those things, uh, or just dumb luck, so many happy accidents occurred during the, the course of the shooting of the shield. This is now a series wrap on Clark the Band Johnson. <laughs> Clark Johnson shooting the last episode of the shield was just one of a number of, 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 of synchronistic events. And speech-wise, I don't know. I'm pretty good with the quip, but I don't know about the speeches. It just seems so perfectly appropriate that we had come full circle and that there was a closure in that book ending of, of the series. We've got this, uh, this uh, action going on with the Writers Guild and, and our, our creator, the spirit of the show, Sean Ryan, can't be here for the filming of the last Episode. The final episode started filming the first day of the writer's strike. While all the writing was done, the script was in, um, I was on strike during the filming of the final episode. I think that Sean had every confidence that we would deliver what was on the page because that's what we went about doing every week. Real sadness right now to me is that Sean and uh, and the and the writers can't be here with us. Yeah. Um, I I'd love for us to give a round round of applause to Sean Ryan. And the to me, I always wanted to make a show that didn't just appeal to people Tuesday nights at ten on FX, but would hold up, and that five years from now and ten years from now people could watch either on DVD or on demand or on repeats, and it would have as much meaning in the future as it, as it does now. If somebody's watching this, I imagine it's because they like the show, and so I would just say that you know, the show couldn't exist without those passionate viewers who watched it, so I thank you for watching the show. I'm really all of a sudden filled with real joy and excitement being, I'm, I'm tired of the heaviness of it all. I feel the job coming off of me now and I can feel, I feel like I can celebrate it with all of you now. I feel like I can say, hey, you know, this really, really was a, a, a one that will for the ages. And I'm just thrilled to have been a part of it. I'm thrilled to have been associated with all of you. And I hope we get together and do something else sometime. I think shows are, are like, good shows are like comets, you know. You don't want to just be blazing until they slowly fizzle out. You want them to explode across the sky, and it, this is a good time to end this show. It's a good thing. It's a good spirit. It's a good place to be right now.